We've all had to find new ways of doing things. My job is TV, and the virus forced me from the BBC studio into my basement. The venue changed, but the reporting didn't. Mayor, thank you for joining us. You had some pretty hard words for the president over the weekend, asking if the White House just wanted New York to drop dead. It's all about using the technology we have to communicate effectively to my TV viewers and to your audiences. Hello, everybody. I'm so excited to be with you. There are, of course, terrifying challenges, but there are also opportunities that can come out of this moment of crisis. Poll after poll from the beginning of the pandemic showed that Donald Trump supporters basically believed that he had handled it well, and his detractors, his critics, basically believed that he didn't. And you saw it during the virus, as we saw those protesters in the states um, who were protesting against the lockdown orders. The virus almost became a proxy for those divisions that have riven American politics for years now. Looking around the world right now, um, is any country doing handling this well in terms of the response to the virus and the way they're doing it? Yeah, I mean, you know, to some extent, I think the United States has the advantage of coming later in this wave, right? So the US can look to other countries and learn from what they're doing. If you're China, you didn't have that opportunity. Uh, Japan, South Korea, they didn't have that opportunity. But we can look at Asia, we can look at what's happening in Europe. And I know speaking to people on the national security side and top officials on the health side, that is exactly what they're doing. They're looking to get as much data and information as possible from countries that are seen to be doing this well. I've realized that all those years I've spent as a television anchor, in a way, have brought me to this moment. I've had lots of experience sitting in studios interviewing people virtually. And if you can't have them in the room with you, you still have to be able to reach through a television lens or a computer lens and speak to them and get your message across. It's a format I'm comfortable with. It's a format, actually, I really enjoy.